Titans, these are the exotics you're gonna need for Arc 3.0. How's it going everyone, Tavius here, and today we're talking about the 5 exotic armor pieces all Titans should have before Arc 3.0 is released. I've always been a big fan of Chaos Reach on the Warlock, but I might just have to main Titan on Season 18 if Thunder Crash has a good set of aspects and fragments with Arc 3.0. I'm just so excited to try it out. If you like this type of content, you already know what to do, so let's begin. In number 5, we have one of the best neutral exotics for the Titan, the Heart of Inmost Light. This exotic was introduced to the game with the Forsaken expansion, a random drop, and it's been a top favorite of it since. Overflowing Light. Using your ability, Grenade, Melee or Barricade, empowers the other two abilities. So this one is all about looping abilities. Empower means abilities have faster regen. Melee and Grenade do more damage, and Barricades can take more heavy fire. This exotic works amazingly well with Boy 3.0, I made a video about it if you're interested. So with R3.0, it could be even better. Punching, grenades, melees, chain lining things, grenade again, pairs really well with Monte Carlo by the way. Anyway, really excited to try this one with R3.0. Now coming in at number 4, we have the Precious Scars. This one released with Beyond Light, another neutral exotic, but super useful when playing matchmade activities or with friends. Nightfalls, Gambit, Trials of Osiris, even Raids. I'm not the best at PvP, so this is my favorite exotic to go into Trials with. What does it do? Final blows from weapons with damage type matching your subclass energy, Arc in this case, create a burst of healing around you. After reviving or being revived, you gain an aura that provides overshields to you and allies. So I made a video recently about the best Arc exotic weapons to have for R3.0. Any of those exotic arc weapons will pair so well with this exotic to provide healing and shields to teammates. Plus, any good aspects and fragments we get with R3.0 will only add to how great this exotic already is. In number 3, we have an insurmountable school fort. Okay, so this exotic is ancient. We've had it forever since the Red War campaign, but it's still such a good exotic. In a way, this helmet is similar to the Liar's Handshake exotic for hunters. I have a video on best Hunter R3.0 exotics if you're interested. What does it do? Transfusion Matrix. Kills with Arc Melee abilities trigger Hell Regeneration and restore melee energy. Pretty straightforward, but just imagine if we're able to apply Chain Lightning with melee. Any kill you get restores melee energy and heals you for an infinite loop of punching and healing, as long as it's low level enemies of course. Can't wait to see what the aspects and fragments do to this exotic with Arc 3.0. Number 2. Our number 2 is going to have to be Dune Marchers, another exotic armor we've had since Vanilla Destiny 2. This one is based around sprinting and melee, and it was a top choice for Titans in PvP for a while because its chain lining was so overpowered in the Crucible, until finally they nerfed the PvP side of this exotic. Linear Actuators increases sprint speed. Sprinting builds up a static charge. After melee attacking an enemy, that charge will chain damage to nearby enemies. This is what I was talking about. Running into the enemy team in Crucible and punching one of them would chain lightning to the rest of the team and sometimes wipe them all. But that's not a thing anymore. Still, this exotic has me very excited for what it could bring to the PvE side. Ballistic Slam with this exotic has been so much fun to use, spreading chain lightning with a cool ground pound. I'm sure Ballistic Slam will turn into an aspect with R3.0, and I can't wait to test it out with Wrist Runner. We've got one more to go, but before number one, I got a couple that might become something with R3.0 and some adjustments. The first one is Eternal Warrior. Some of you Titans probably forgot about this exotic. No one has ever used it in years, since there's many other better options. So I believe it's time Bungie gives it a boost, and they have done it before with underwhelming exotics, so how about refunding up to 50% of your super after your super is done based on kills? Just like the Storm Dancer's Brace for the Warlock. Storm Dancer's Brace just got adjusted to do just that last year, so I don't see why they wouldn't add something like this to Eternal Warrior. It would definitely get us to use it. And for my second honorable mention, I have Syntheseps, for obvious reasons. It has been a very good exotic for a long time, extending your melee range and doing more damage while surrounded. So I am very interested to see if we can break it with our 3.0 aspects and fragments. Here we go, time for number 1, the exotic I'm most excited about, everyone's favorite arc exotic for the Titan. And if you don't think so, well, I'm afraid you're wrong, my friend. No, but seriously, the Fallen Star exotic. I mean, even before this exotic came out, the addition of Code of the Missile and Thunder Crash was such a breath of fresh air for Titans. 
and this exotic took it to another level. Glorious Charge greatly increases your Thunder Crash impact damage. Gain an overshield that lasts longer the farther you travel before striking a target. So this one is for those of us who enjoy flying through the air and erasing tons of enemies and bosses on impact. I mean, who doesn't like that? Plus this exotic gives you an overshield while flying so you don't get shot down too easily while in the air. I'm just saying, I already love this super and exotic. Now mixing aspects and fragments will take this to another level so make sure to get a good roll in this exotic and be ready for arc 3.0. And there you have it guys, 5 of the best exotic armor pieces you need to have going into arc 3.0 for the titan. Again, I'm not sure honestly if I'll be on Warlock with Chaos Reach or Thunder Crash Titan. I'm torn between the two. But if you like this type of content, a like and heavy attack on the subscribe button really helps the channel grow. Almost 90% of you guys aren't subscribed, so yeah, consider subscribing to the channel. Oh, and I have a Discord community if you'd like to join, and some merch in the works. So excited for that. All that is that in the description. My name is Tavius Place. I thank you for your viewership, and if you want to watch other informative Destiny 2 videos, you can click here.